And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gem Assembler, our next Meme Tier Monday deck. This is a spicy one. This deck's got a lot going on. So first, we're going to be a Teemo deck. We're going to be playing Puff Caps. We're going to be having Teemo and Puff Cap Peddler. So for each spell we're playing, we're going to be giving them Puff Caps. Our Chump Womp will be giving them Puff Caps. So we're going to be doing that. Um, and then we're going to be having our gems also because we want even more spells for Puff Cat Peddler. So we got Gift Giver to make a gem. Mentor the Stones, whenever it dies after it supported our Teemo, we'll be creating some gems. We even have a Shards of the Mountain to create some gems. So now we got some gems. And since we're going to be playing a whole bunch of spells with our gems um, and with our Puff Cat Peddler, getting them a bunch of Puff Caps, we have assembly bot where we can make assembly bot very large. So each spell that we cast will grant assembly bot plus one plus one. If we're putting gems on assembly bot, each one will give assembly bot plus two plus one. So that's a real fast way, permanent buffs to make assembly bot really big. And in case we don't have assembly bot over there to 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 buff up, we also have J Madarda, where we can be targeting J Madarda with our gems and each one draw a card <laughs> so we can just start drawing a ton of cards also while buffing up jay madarda so that's awesome and then <clears throat> and then of course we also have vi for our other champion so each time we're playing our, our spells vi is getting plus one plus zero for each one of those also so we're just buffing up our assembly bot our vi our jay madarda and then finally we have um then we to finish the game out we have Zenith Blade to give those things Overwhelm whenever they are really buff, or Sumpworks Map to give them Elusive and to finish the games out like that. So pretty sweet deck here. We got we got gems, we got uh, units to be buffed up with, and we got a whole bunch of puff caps and Teemo doubling up those puff caps. So um, yeah, nice combination. So we're calling this Gem Assembler for our assembly bot, plus we're just assembling all sorts of sweet stuff together. So let's go. Let's go play five games. Uh, we're just playing it in normal because it is meme tier Monday today. But we're having fun. All right, let's give this a try. All right, from our opener, I'm going to keep the gift giver as a one drop. Vi is amazing. Going to keep this also. We'll mulligan those two late game spells. Don't need those right away or anything. Vi is just a good thing to keep in our opening hand, too, so we can be playing stuff uh, in the first few turns and grow this Vi so that whenever we do play Vi on turn 5, it's like a 6-4 or whatever. You know, it's larger than just being the 2-4. Gift giver. The gift of gems. This is not the way. All right, so our one drops trade, we take a damage and get a gem. No two mana card. I don't know if we have... We don't. We don't have any two mana cards. <laughs> units, that is. We don't have any two mana units to play. Alright, I'll just play this Mentor of the Stones. Alright, and then we go Assembly Bot. Ooh, and we have Teemo also. Okay. Alright, we're gonna pill cascade the mentor of the stones. That then buffs up the assembly bot. Yeah, I guess I just gem. I'm sorry, Teemo. I think it's better to gem this and make it four power or four health. Well, nice five health. I think it's better to do this than than play the Teemo, get two attacks right away. So that assembly bot went from dying to the mega rain to now being a 6-5. Sure <laughs> that. That's good that the mentor of the stones actually trades. 
Because remember, it, w it had the Pale Cascade on it, so it was going to be going back down to a 1-1 after this. I have my orders. Why is it so aggressive? <laughs> Come on! What is this? Don't know much, do you? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? A lot of damage. Uh, patch notes should be tomorrow. They come out on Tuesdays. Yeah, I guess we're just going Vi. I don't think we can do 14 damage, can we? Alright, so each gem does 2. Alright, so we're at 6. So this would be 8, 10, 12. And then this Sumpworks map would be another 1, so 13. And they're at 14. Like well, may yeah, maybe. Alright, let's see. So if we play Teemo also, Teemo could be the 14th. Because I can still, yeah, so I can still go gem, 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 Sumpworks map. So yeah, if Teemo survives. Ow. Alright, here we go. Let's go all in. Hopefully Teemo survives. Fourteen. Yes! Teemo with the lethal damage also. Yes! GG's. That was sweet. Alright, we got Ash and Nivea. Zombie Ash with Nivea. All right, let's keep Mentor the Stones. Pretty slow hand. That's all right, I suppose. Um, we'll have the attack token on turn three. This is actually a hand where I'd rather have it on turn four. But I don't really imagine that we attack with Mentor the Stones on turn three. Ooh, or, or we could just play this assembly bot. Huh. No, it's got to be meant to the stones. Assembly bot's too vulnerable right now. That one damage counts. 19. Hey, devil. Sorry you've been stuck in meetings all m morning. But one arrow. glad you're here now. And yeah, Meme Tier Monday is going great so far. Man, yeah, I can't believe the stars are up 3 1. I'm so excited. I'm still not ready to like believe that they're going to the Stanley Cup finals. <laughs> I sure hope so. Okay. So kind of expecting like a missed call on their side. I don't think they'll be able to kill Vi, because probably like their removal that they'll have will be like one damage removal, and so with the tough, don't think they will, and so I think we'll be able to untap with the Vi and have like guiding touch and gems and stuff like that to heal Vi. Oh, they just have another avalanche, right? 
Or they have a second avalanche. Alright, not the best for me. too many cards. Oh no, that Sunforks map would have been good. I didn't even really notice that. I guess I could have noticed that with getting that extra mushroom cloud. Probably should have noticed that. Alright, so I think I want double assembly bot. Mushroom clouds. Hope they draw some pup caps. That's my plan. This is kind of rough against all these Anivias. A little rough. I wish I, you know, I wish I didn't burn those two cards, that extra puff cap, and the card that gave my thing elusive. Wish I didn't burn those. There we go. Draw those puff caps. Down to one? Dang, they're down to one? Okay, I didn't realize their life total was so low. I did not realize they had that low of a life total. To attack. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Yes, Timo. Probably not attacking. A little luck for those who need it. Speak, star. But if I do play Teemo, then they could attack and kill my Teemo. about ruination as far as this teamo goes so we're just kind of playing a longer game right now this is our time I don't know pill cascade don't pill cascade do two damage, draw a card, or not. I'll say not. I will be reborn. I think the reason to not play Pale Cascade is the Puff Cat Peddler. Nothing escapes Maybe we draw a Puff Cat Peddler and that gives us an extra spell to have for that card. Hush would not have stopped, um, you know, this Anivia from coming back. Okay. Wrapped in cold silence. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. They need more pup caps. There 
That's what I'm kind of learning. Heal those things a little bit. Probably should have done one more gem on, on the Chump Wump in case of third avalanche. So then the Chump Wump would stay alive and then I would have to kill Cascade. Sumperk's map. Sumperk's map, let's go. Really doesn't matter. Want to do it before they can, um, you know, play a ruination or anything else like that. All right. They can gain three life, take 19. 19 will do it. Assembly bot, Sumperk's map. Our deck's working. <laughs> no, poor Teemo. Poor Teemo. Who played against a fast aggro deck. Uh, I am wondering if Assembly bot's going to be too slow. It's kind of what we have, though. I'm glad at least that we have the attack token turn one. That does help slow them down a little bit. And we'll have the attack token on five whenever we get to play a Vi. Uh, no, does not look too, no, does not look too mid rangey. <clears throat> no, I don't think it don't think it looks too mid rangey. At least they were scared of me playing more blockers, so they didn't just play these elusives out. That's cool. Yeah, we get it, you like it. Going to attack. All right. Obviously, they would have blocked, we would have used the Pill Cascade. That Sumpworks map could be pretty cool. Even though it won't be a surprise now. But of course I want to... I want to have the Nightfall turned on. For the drawing a card. I'm definitely playing Vi next turn. So if I spend any mana on Assembly Bot or Mentor of the Stones, then I don't get to protect this Assembly Bot. 
And I kind of need to protect this one that has the elusive. But I guess if they had anything else to kill the assembly bot, they probably just would have done that. Right there. I'm doing this my way. My plan is to have the men to the stones pump up the assembly bot. I think. Okay. No, maybe not. Maybe we don't pump up the bot. Maybe we just pump this up. Well, I don't want them to keep that... I, I didn't really want them to keep the challenger in play. Shield, that's cool. Definitely glad no vision. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Definitely glad no vision. Alright, so if they did have one drops out of those, they will turn into zero mana, and so Professor Von Yip will not buff them. to play another one of these. Quite right, quite right. That was the four mana card? Okay, so so again, so they shouldn't have any one drops. Oh, you're saying I should have gone double Zenith? I guess I could have gone double Zenith. Anyway, I was just getting another assembly bot in play to attack and make them do some more blocking. It was going to be a 3 3. Yeah, we were good. Yasuo Leona. That's going to be stunning my stuff. I don't like that. Definitely wish we had the attack token first this turn, this game for sure. I mean, we got one, three, five. I guess it's really the one and the five that matter attacking first. The three, not so much. I could make Timo a two one. No, it's just it has to be better to keep. The gem in hand for after these assembly bots, right? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I'm glad we didn't just make Team Two One. I'll take that. Just trade for one of their spells for five puff caps, basically. That's fine. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't really drawn Jay Medard, but Jay Medard is cool. I'm gonna get, gonna get these assembly bots going. They're real good against the Will of Ionia decks. No, I didn't like that at all either. These gems grant common. Be brave. I did not play around written in stone. One bit. 
Meteor Shower. I always call that card Written in Stone. It's Meteor Shower. My faith protects me. Oh, Jamadar is not useless. Draw a whole bunch of cards with Jamadar. Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade. Alright, I love doing this right here. I mean, so I'm doing this with the Daybreak, so we get to draw another Zenith Blade, but I love having the Bastion available in case of Will of Ionia. The Dawn has arrived. Still worth playing the Teemo. Okay. Hopefully this works. No. Alright, they got five puff caps. See, we are kind of running out of cards here. This could be a good time for Jay Medarda. Leona's at three out of four. A shield for allies, a sword for enemies. Behold the divine power of the sun! I don't have to worry too much about Daybreak on the Zenith Blade anymore because we don't have any more Zenith Blades in our deck to draw. So we can kind of play that Zenith Blade whenever. Huh. They would rather kill Teemo than kill Vi. Just trying to help. Yeah, I know. Teemo's just trying to help. Let's give them these puff caps and give them some more opportunity to draw these puff caps. And then we're going to be going right to combat with the challenge. Taking 10. Yeah, I think they just take 10. Sleep is for the Ooh, I do not like that. We're gonna have to hush some things. Alright, Jay Madarda, find us some more stuff. Discover the unknown. Thank you, thank you. That could be good. Gotta get your filling, filling of mushrooms. Uh, not not a real reason to, to put Vi first or last there, honestly. No real big deal either way. I mean, I mean, I don't know if they're gonna be playing like the barrier lifesteal card, um, but you know if they are. I guess you probably want it first. So this just strikes for two. That's fine. Behold the sun's holy light. Yes. 
All right, we're gonna be doing some hushing. What are we going to hush? Probably the Leona. Keep them stunning there. Um, guess I let them draw another Zenith Blade over another Hush right now. So that I can use Hush if they want to attack. Don't think they will. Alright. So they are at 6. Ooh, I want to play you, Teemo, but then you get... Then they get to play another Zenith Blade. So play this, draw 2, and pump up both of those. Play this, draw one. Discover the unknown. Play this, draw two. Pump up both of those. Discover the unknown. Draw two. Discover the unknown. My timer is going away and I can't do anything about it. <sighs> Barely. They gotta stun both of these and then also block this 1310 with one of those. They only have the one stun. Jay Medarda. For the win. GG's Jay Medarda. See, Jay, Jay Medarda's not useless at all. Jay Medarda's sweet. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I will never speak ill will of ill of Jay Medarda again. Alright, uh, we are 4-0 with our meme tier deck. That means we're going over to ranked. And we're going to see if we can finish out the 5-0 with our gem assembler deck. Let's take it to ranked. I know, Cabo, that's what I was saying. Yeah, Jay with... And we didn't even get to use any gems with Jay Medarda. Jay with Jay... All right, so now this game... We obviously we don't need Jay Medarda in our opener. Um, definitely like Puffcat Peddler a whole lot. Pale Cascade is just too good. Anyway, this game I was going to say that um, Sumpworks map could be really important. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> this is a weird Teemo matchup. This is a weird Teemo matchup. Basically... They get rid of the cards in their deck, so it makes the puff caps even better. Uh, but their their only removal is like one damage removal. Because I have Pill Cascade, I'm casting Teemo here, trying to bait out a one damage removal spell. And then I Pill Cascade with the Nightfall, because we waited till this turn to play Teemo. Got him. So we are giving them puff caps, but then of course they can burn the puff caps on other stuff. Ooh, that Mentor of the Stones could be clutch of growing this Teemo out of their one damage range. The problem though is if I play Mentor here, and then if they kill Teemo, then I'm going to be like, oh, I don't need this Mentor anymore. I think it's still probably worth it. So hopefully I don't have another one damage spell. Okay, good to see. No! Oh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's good. I want them to toss those things right now. Okay, they tossed one puff cap out of those four. Less cards for Teemo is good.
And now, with the Mentor dying, that'll get us some... Yes, do that first. Again, they they honestly should be waiting until they get the puff caps first, because they could be tossing those puff caps. So now they only have 21 cards for us to put five puff caps on. And now we got all these gems to go along with the peddler. The more defensive their hand is, the better for us, I think. The slower it takes them to kill us. We do not want to see, like, a bunch of fast sea monsters and atrocity. That's what we do not want to see. So we have Vi, which is pretty viable. Or we can just start playing a whole bunch of spells. I think I like playing the Vi, but... If we play the Vi, then our Teemo is vulnerable but i don't think they have anything for four mana that does three damage i don't think they can kill uh kill here One girl wrecking crew. yes draw more cards that's good for the puff caps all right neither of those two cards they burned had puff caps so they're at 15 and 7. So yeah, they're down to 13 cards. We're going to give them a whole bunch of puff caps. All right, here we go. So, gem. I've always been a fun guy. Um, Pale Cascade. Draw a card. I'm going to keep the Bastion up to protect the Teemo. I don't know if we really need it. But obviously we want to do these first. Level up this Teemo so we can double up the Puff Caps. I guess if I cast the other gem here, then we would get leveled up Vi. Let's get to the fun part. We? How is this not the fun part? <laughs> this is this is still the fun part too. I don't know what they're going to have at 6 mana that's going to kill this Teemo. Like, I don't think there is anything. I think we're safe. Even without the Bastion. I, I guess I could just simply cast Bastion. It's one less damage, but then it, that's protected. Now we'll level up Vi also. <laughs> yeah, we've had two good decks. The, the, the Swole Cat is a good deck, too. We played that last meme tier Monday and went 5-0 with it. We went 4-1 this time. That's definitely a good deck. <laughs> Alright, Atrocity right now. Again, that's good. Toss two more cards. Uh, those two cards did have three puff caps, but still, now we're now we're doubling up for only ten cards with 28 puff caps. Again, that's, that's less cards still that can have um, puff caps. Three puff caps, they're not dead yet. Oh, so close. Draw another card, go ahead. All right, so we're gonna hush. Hush this little dr dead bloom wanderer. 15 puff caps for six cards. All right, so if we hush. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just pass right now. Just hush. Yep, all the deck lists are right there. Mix. You want to pass also and just go straight to drawing a card? No, not quite. Let's give them some more with Peddler. Alright, so there are six cards have 24 puff caps. Hopefully they draw one. Gotta draw one. Can't imagine they're not drawing one. So they gotta draw one. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Bring it. Okay. Good call there, beast. 
Draw a puff cap. And there we go. They drew exactly one. <laughs> Six cards, 24 puff caps. They drew exactly one. The exact number we needed. That is awesome. All right, finished out the 5-0 with Gem Assembler. Man, this is a spicy one. We got a little bit of everything in here. Gems, Assembly Bot. Assembly Bot was awesome with Sumpworks Map. Sumpworks Map was an MVP. So the person that donated for this deck said they got the idea from another streamer and YouTuber, Control the Board. Awesome. So yeah, so thanks Control the Board for that. Um, we didn't use Jade Medarda too much, but that last, that second to last game, it definitely helped out getting us all those, drawing us all those cards. Um, so the one game that we had Jade Medarda, it was awesome and won us the game. Via course is just really good. Yeah, this is this is awesome. I I wish we got to do more with Puff Cat Peddler, but again, we only had one Puff Cat Peddler game. That was game five, there. But it was you know it's a good Puff Cat Peddler game. Um. Um. But yeah, this was this was a lot of fun to play. Hush, of course, is just amazing. Bastion's a good spell to protect our big Sumpworks map thing. Pretty cool deck here with gems, puff caps, got assembly bot, you got J Madarda, you got a lot of awesome meme tier stuff here. <clears throat> no, Zenith Blade wasn't awkward. No, the the overwhelm overwhelm was definitely good with the Zenith Blade. Yeah, I think it's it's worse than Sumpworks map, but it's just kind of a necessity to have when you don't have some when you don't have Sumpworks map to, to try to get assembly bot or buy or other cards through. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? What do you want to see? Um, you know, you got any spicy ideas? You know, feel free to let me know. Um, you know, anything about this deck? If you're trying it out, how's it going for you? Or anything else? Leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Gem Assembler, and I'll see you for the next video.